this constant like raging incessant need to put out the fire that's in front of us but not doing it in such a way that goes Julie like we're speaking right now and we have done for the last 10 minutes listen somebody has just come into the clinic and is that is about to ask me a question so that I can give so I'm giving her the benefit so that I can give you my utmost attention and continue this call I'm just gonna help this person give me three seconds and I'll be back with you how can I help I've just got a quick question okay well listen <clears throat> I'm halfway through the call with the lady and again so that I can give you my undivided attention do you mind just having a seat just take a seat there's a magazine there's some books there's a coffee it's free it's beautiful help yourself and as soon as I've finished with Julie and I'm going to take care of her, you're going to get my undivided attention as well. And if somebody else walks into this clinic, I'm going to tell them exactly the same thing. But I have to do with the person who I'm engaged with right now. Is that okay? Cool. And if he says, no, I'm busy, okay, fine, fuck off. Like, you're too busy for us. Like, we have to deal with the person that's in front of us because you can't take that for granted. Make sense? Yeah. Because if not, that person who comes in and demands our attention he reveals himself. In that moment in time, he reveals himself as to whether or not we want to do business with him. He'll either go, yes, no problem, or I'll come back in five minutes, which is cool, fine. But don't neglect the person that you speak to. Make sense? So back to the will they reveal themselves, they'll do one of those two things. Yes, this is totally fine, and I respect the fact, he'll be thinking this, I respect the fact that you've just done this, and I respect the fact that you're actually taking care of somebody else, and I'll wait patiently, or I'll come back. Or, I will say, don't you know I'm busy? Don't you know I have a parking ticket? No, I can't come back. I need to know the answer to this question. That's completely fine. Because if you start this way, you'll probably end that way. And you'll probably be a hassle in the treatment room when the patient physio says you need X, Y, Z sessions and we can only get you in on a Tuesday and a Thursday and you want to come in on a Friday and a Saturday. How most relationships start is how they end, I promise you. It's just the truth. The girl who cheats on a guy and gets with the guy, where does she lose the guy? For him cheating with somebody else. Yeah. That's what happens. How you find them at the beginning is how you lose them at the end. Fact. It's the yeah. best saying on earth. It's just what goes on. Same with patience. How you find them at the beginning is how we lose them at the end.